Who is Teresita Fernandez? She's an artist that was born in Miami and been living in New York for over 20 years and whose practice really borrows from ideas of minimalism, conceptual art, but also is very indebted to Latinx art practices in the United States. Teresita works in a lot of different mediums. Not only she makes objects, sculptures, paintings, and drawings for the gallery, she also creates large-scale public installation. The title of her exhibition at the museum is Elemental, and it highlights a mid-career retrospective of Teresita's work. So it's a very unique opportunity to see her overall practice. Focusing on the elemental aspects of her work, that being her use of gold, her use of fire, her use of drawings, her use of sculpture, giving you a very nice insider perspective to her work. So how, do you, how should you navigate this exhibition? Perhaps you should do it by looking at some anchors. And those are certain works that are here on view that give you a really nice insight of her practice. So I would say certainly start with Bauer and Landscape. That's the work that she did when she first started that very much looks at ideas of minimalism, conceptual art, color. And then right next to Barrett Landscape, there's a really beautiful room that focuses on her graphite works. There, you're gonna see her mastery with graphite, a, a, a material that she studied not only its history, but also its technique, and she's has mastered it to a completely different level. Right now, I'm standing in front of the gold section, which is also a very kind of seductive, lustrous body of work that very much speaks to the history of colonialism in Latin America, but also to a wider ideas of just the material and landscape, because her work is all about landscape. I should also mention two more places that you should not live without looking. One is the fire section, which is really speaking about fire as a medium, as a landscape, but also how it relates to contemporary culture. And of course, we have a very nice street here at Pam, which is the, the sculpture outside. So there's a really beautiful public sculpture that you can enjoy, even if the museum is closed.